Hey everyone. Today, I am gonna show you what to do with a paint skin. I'm just gonna make a couple bookmarks for the purpose of the video so you can see that you don't have to throw away all this wasted paint if you use the right paper to drip on. Um, this is freezer paper. Parchment works too, but I found that freezer paper works a lot better. Um, this is from some tiles I did the other day. That'll be a future video because I have to learn how to use resin. <coughs> um, all you have to do is pry up, wait till it fully dries. So these have been drying a couple of days. And hopefully they're not wet underneath. This is what it looks like. So this one actually has two different drips on it. Um, it's got some of the tile that I did, which were more like a fire color, and then this is from one of the one of the jars I did. That's also a future video. But we're gonna make a bookmark. So all you need is a laminator, some laminating sheets, razor blade, a ruler, cutting mat, and a paper punch. These were some that I did the other day. Let's see if you can see these good. Hopefully I'm showing the camera just right. I got it kind of zoomed in a lot. Um, it kind of heats up the paint and smooths it back out. So like this one has some ridging on it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there are some high points, but as soon as it goes through the laminator, it kind of smooths it out, but it doesn't really change the design at all. And you can use either side, so say you don't really like this side, but you flip it over and you're like, hey, that's pretty cool. I'm going to use that. Um, I don't really like most of the white on here, but this is one I pried up before. And if you cut your piece, say you cut this piece and it's a little short, you can take another piece and just put it in there. You know, any you can make them any way you want to do it. So if this is obviously not the right shape, you can pair it with another piece and cut that and laminate that as well. Um, I got a bigger one. Let's see if we can get this one off. I'm using a different camera today. It's uh, an old camera we had when our nine-year-old was a baby. The flash doesn't work, but I wanted to see if it would work for, instead of using my cell phone all the time. <coughs> See if we can make a line here. And obviously it's not always gonna come up in one fancy piece like the other one just did. Let's see if we can try to get a big usable piece. So this one I can tell I, I used two drips, so I must have did black and white on one side and then dripped over it when I did something else. But that's okay, it just makes the, the design even cooler. So here's this. That's the back. We're just going to cut, cut a chunk or two out and then put them in the laminage. Laminature. And laminate them. Oh, this one's kind of funky. I just don't like the back, but maybe I could put this on the back to cover it up. We'll see. We'll cut this one first. So all I did was kind of cut out the bigger chunk. I made those. I think they're an inch and a half, but we. We can make smaller ones here, so we'll do inch inch ones. Some people make jewelry with them. Um, they take those, or they take those little uh, little stones you can get in a pack. Well, not really stones; they're like glass beads in a pack at like the Dollar Tree or something. They use them, for, most, some people use them for like vase filling and 
whatnot. Um, you can cut it to size. Put your glass bead on top, cut it to size, and then make magnets out of that, which is a pretty neat idea. So you have all these colored magnets all over your fridge. All right, so we got two pieces here. That'll be good enough. So I, this is just a five by seven laminated sheet. You can buy them bigger than that and just do one piece, which I did yesterday for those other ones. And I always have a problem getting dust in here. Keep some of the dust. Okay, laminators ready. Sorry if you can hear that rumbling. That's the laminator heating up. So I just put them in here so that I have a little bit at the top to make a hole punch. And you can always, if they're crooked in there, you can always straighten them out as long as you have enough on at least one side. But I'm kind of OCD like that, so I always want it to be straight. I'll show you how I store these. I was storing them in a shoebox like some of the bigger ones and I actually had folded them in half which was a big no-no and I found that out yesterday. All right. So, got my two sheets. Don't really care what the back looks like. I'm going to put it in the laminator and then I'll show you how I store them while this is going through. It's going to be pretty quick. I'm get it to go in there. Yesterday, I had them just sitting in a shoebox with wax paper in between and they did not, some of them if they were just one sheet and they fit on the wax paper it was fine, others not. So I just took some laminating sheet or some sheet dividers, put the skin in the wax paper and just set them in between. So like. And any bigger ones, well, like this one, I should have put another little sheet here so that it doesn't stick to the plastic. Um, let's see if I can show you a bigger one. Um, here, this one. So this one was huge, and I actually was able to save it because it was stuck together inside my shoebox. So see I have an extra piece on the outside because it's folded over the wax paper. But this one is pretty huge. It's from that um, dip tech that I did. I used a ton of paint and I didn't want to you know waste it all. But that's the way you can store it. So just a cheap couple dollar binder and some laminating sheets or whatever they're called, document separators. All right, here is our finished, well-ish, bookmark. Just going to trim up the edges and then I'm just going to punch a hole. Um, and for that, I'm just going to use a cutter. It just works better. And I don't cut it too close because there's always too close to the edge here. It never seals like completely tight against the document or whatever you're sealing. Just leave a little space.
And there they are. Take a hole punch. Take a hole punch. Punch a hole. Come on. Come on. And you can snip that end off here so it's not so long. Or not. There it is. Super easy. Way not to waste paint.